You looking for lizards out here? You love watching the sunrise, huh? Okay, you can stay out, but I'm cold. I'm going in. Oh, that's hot. Good morning and happy Sunday. I'm starting this vlog really early today because today we're gonna get it together. <laughs> I want to have a chill week coming up next week. I wanna set myself up for success. So priority number one is just getting things cleaned up and organized around my apartment. I never even got any Christmas decorations out last week, except for my stocking that I hung up on the wall right there. So I wanna get everything cleaned up and then maybe get out a few Christmas decorations. I wanna get some groceries and just get all my food things organized for the week. I want to be more organized than I was last week, essentially, because last week was pretty exhausting. I was in bed so early last night, which is why I'm up early today and so energized and motivated and ready to get it together. <laughs> so right now I'm just working on my grocery list. I like to do this by looking at my phone, looking at my grocery store apps so I can check out the deals in the weekly ad and the coupons. And then on my computer, I get on my Google Docs and I just make any little notes like at Albertsons, I want to make sure I get the 99 cent grapes, things like that. And this is where I can do a little comparison too, like I can already see in my notes that Albertsons has toilet paper on sale, but Smith's has a coupon for $5 off. I'm going to have to look at that again and decide where I want to buy my toilet paper. Yeah, that's, that's how exciting it is this morning at my house. <laughs> So I'm going to make a plan of where I need to go this morning and I'm gonna get it done early this morning so I can have the whole day to be relaxed and productive at home and a little self-care Sunday stuff too. Like I need to take a shower so I might as well do a face mask, do some like hair deep conditioning stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be a good productive Sunday and it looks like the sun is coming out. Oh yeah, sun is up. Are you done watching the sunrise? You ready to come in? Much prettier in person. I think I hear a little hummer. This is Penny's morning routine. After watching the sun rise on the chilly porch, eventually the sun starts coming in the window. And then we sit up here and we breathe fresh air. Oh, <laughs> Penny, you're so pretty. Good morning, my angel. Oh, I love you. Good morning, Ted. First stop, 99 cent store. I've already been in and out. Success. Success with cat food, I should clarify that. Not success with Elisha food. So I still need to stop at the grocery store. So do I go to Smith's and Albertson's? Or do I just pick one? Quick stop at Smith's, another success. That's not my regular Smith's, so I was not as familiar with where my clearance sections are, but I still found some good deals. And now, since I am in this plaza, I decided to stop at this used bookstore. I have wanted to stop here ever since I've lived here. I've driven by it a million times. My favorite Goodwill is right across the street. Don't even tempt me into stopping there. We'll see, maybe if I have good success at the used bookstore, I'll be in the bargain shopping mood kind of already am after my four dollar and 58 cent trip to smith's so all right get those people out of the background and go into the bookstore hello again back home and now i need to get on track because i definitely wasted way too much time in goodwill i went to the bookstore it was a bust they have a lot of books there it was really cool but just a little bit more money than I wanted to pay. So I decided, what the heck, let's go look at the books at Goodwill, maybe see if there's anything 
to browse for today and I picked up a couple things. I got two more mason jars, a wide mouth one that was 99 cents, the little one that was half off for 35 cents. And I got this little organizing thing for 99 cents. Did I really need another little organizing thing? I'm still very disorganized, so I told myself for 99 cents it was okay. So I'm not sure exactly where that's going to go. I thought it would be good under the bathroom sink or for office stuff, kitchen stuff, who knows. I stocked up on Fancy Feast. <laughs> that's Ted. I stocked up on Fancy Feast at the 99 cent store. They only had one of the two ounce packages, so I got that. And then I got eight of these ones that I think are 1.1 ounce, so obviously not as good of a deal. It's almost half the size. But still, for 99 cents, I think these are $2 in the regular store. I don't know. I don't even really look anymore because I pretty much just buy all their food at the 99 cent. I also picked up all these Fancy Feast broths for them at the 99 cent. These are 1.4 ounces per package. And again, 99 cents and more like $2 at least at the regular grocery store. So Ted and Penny are gonna be excited. Didn't get any of their favorite tongle tuna, but at least we got some salmon. At Smith's, I got some Granny Smith apples. They're 88 cents a pound, along with like Galas and Fujis, and they're on sale for a couple more days, so I'm probably gonna go back for some more apples. I was looking at them and trying to decide, should I make applesauce? And, uh, and I'm like, you got a couple more days and you're gonna drive right back by here, so we'll think about that. And I was so excited. My favorite salsa that I just showed a couple videos ago, on clearance, $1.13. Why, what is the expiration date? Expiration is 12.19, which is nine days from today. I ate one and a half of these things last week. Cause I love this salsa mixed with potato cheese to make queso. And the last thing I got at Smith's was some marked down bananas. I don't usually buy the marked down bananas. I usually just buy my own bananas and let them get brown and then put them in the freezer for my nice cream. But I am running really low because I have been on a major nice cream kick. I think it was my last video I showed me making that chocolate cherry nice cream. Yeah, that has become a new nightly ritual. So I figured I should get some bananas that were on their way to being brown and then I peel them, put them in my containers and put them in the freezer. And while I was out and about, I made a Mercari sale. So I know I'm gonna need to go to the post office tomorrow. And I like to use the one that's inside Albertsons. So I didn't even try to stop at Albertsons today because I'm like, I know I'm going to need to go inside there tomorrow. Just do that trip then. So now it is quarter to noon and I need to get going with those things I said I wanted to do around my house today. Like my kitchen is such a mess, I cannot even show it i'm just too embarrassed i want to get things cleaned up around here and maybe get it looking a little bit christmasy so i think that is my goal is to do a really good cleaning job this afternoon and then like when it's getting dark out do my face mask and shower for some evening sunday evening self-care stuff Basically, I don't feel like taking the time to get in the shower right now. I think I'm gonna end up breaking a sweat. I want a full-on vacuum dust do it all today. So, oh, look at Penny. I am coming to talk to you right now, my dear. Are you telling me that you're out of your nip? Are you out of nip? You want some nip? You are getting so spoiled with this nip. Good morning. Yes, that's right. Morning again. Self-care Sunday was an epic failure. I don't think there was any self-care in there at all. It was all like errands and trying to be productive at home which i guess is a form of self-care because when i have a clean home 
I feel better mentally, I know that. And I know that because I'm still a little bit stressed out looking at some of the additional messes I created. I am one of those people that every time I try to clean, I want to organize. Because there's no point in just tidying because that isn't really actually getting me clean and organized. That's just like tucking the mess away. So I ended up in a deep rabbit hole of organization yesterday and I got so much done. I am extremely happy with the progress I made, but is it really noticeable to anybody besides me? Not so much. So we're letting go of the failures of self-care Sunday and moving on to Motivated Monday. Gonna get in the shower and get motivated for the day. And number one priority this morning is cleaning up my yoga studio because I made such a mess in there because I also do my Mercari shop. I take a lot of the pictures for clothes in my yoga studio because that's where my big lights are. And that's what I really need to get cleaned and organized before I have to teach my Zoom yoga classes this afternoon. So that is priority number two after the shower. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to shout out my mother who made me this lap blanket. Can you see the full size of it? It is the perfect size for a lap. I think it was two Vlogmases ago when she made me that cat hat. I'm telling her she's such a good crocheter, she needs to start an Etsy shop. Are you coming to say good morning, Penny? I don't think the camera can hear you way over there. Come say goodbye then. Thanks for joining me for Vlogmas Day 5. I'll see you back soon for hopefully a less chaotic Day 6. And until then, be well.